Hello, and welcome to another laptop salvage video. Before we get started, make sure that the laptop charger and other cables are not plugged into the computer. Don't forget to remove any media, external media readers, or external drives. Check to see if the laptop is powered down. It is recommended to place the laptop on an electrostatic discharge mat and to use the proper tools suggested by the computer's manufacturer. In the last video, we removed the base cover and battery. Now we remove the keyboard, the solid state drive, and the power switch board. The first step is to disconnect the keyboard cable from the front flip connector. So I'm going to use a spudger and gently come underneath the flip, twist it a bit, and pops it right up. We simply take the connector right out. Take a spudger or screwdriver and push its end into the release holes. You will need to apply firm, steady pressure until you hear a popping sound. This is the bottom of the keyboard separating from the pins holding it to the chassis. Flip the laptop over keyboard up and use a plastic scribe to pry any areas of the keyboard still holding on to those pins. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, and as you can see, the keyboard lifts right out. To remove the solid state drive, remove the M2x3 screw that secures the SSD card. The drive pops up. Slide and lift the SSD card from the system board. You may encounter different sizes of solid state drives. The smaller form factor card has an added clip that can be removed after you take out the drive. Remove the M2x3 screw that secures the SSD card. Slide and lift the SSD card from the system board. Disconnect the power switch cable from the power switch board. Looks like there's a piece of adhesive holding the cable down, so I'm going to remove that first. Now I'm just going to carefully pull the cable straight out. Remove the two M.2 by 3 screws that secure the power switch board to the computer. Lift the power switch board away. Hi, JP here with Swing Computers. Thank you for watching, and if you learned something, give us a like if you did. This laptop salvage series will cover several different laptop models, so be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell notification to receive an alert when we post our next video, where we will remove the audio board, touchpad, and power connector port. Until then, don't forget to rescue, reuse, and refurbish.